Hello my friends, and welcome back to another Brotato class guide. Today I'm going to be covering the King. So the King, I think, is a really cool character. It's got a lot of text, but don't let that scare you. It's definitely on the weaker side for characters, but that's why we're here, to sort of get through these more difficult characters and show you how to do it. So, the King gets 50 luck, which right away is a really nice bonus, and you get extra damage and attack speed for every tier 4 weapon you have, and extra max HP for every tier 4 item you have. Notice that items and weapons are different things for these bonuses, so it's important to keep that in mind for what we're going to pick. As a downside, you get minus 15% damage and attack speed for every tier 1 weapon you have, so every level 1 weapon you have is going to reduce your damage and attack speed, and you lose 2 max HP for every different tier 1 item you have. That's where the real penalty for this character mostly comes in, because you typically want to buy a lot of tier 1 items. They're cheap, a lot of them are really good, they're great value, and of course they're how you get through the early game. So you're going to be hurting your maximum HP quite a bit. You can think of this basically as adding minus two max HP to every tier one item's effects. Um, it's a little bit less than that because if you double up on a tier one item, you don't take the penalty, but overall, that's the way to think of it. And that will let you kind of judge whether an item is worth taking. Like for example, the tree, if tree just had minus two max HP on it, would you still take it every run? I would say, yeah, you probably would. So we're still going to buy that every time we see it on the king. On the other hand, something like the lumberjack shirt, which is mostly value for just like increasing your attacks just a little bit. Would you buy that if it came with minus two maximum HP? Maybe not. So you're going to have to judge even S tier items based on those effects. Another thing, it's not in the description here, but you can see all of the weapons we have available are tier 2, so we get to start with a level 2 weapon, which is pretty nice. We're going to go with a... I, I think it doesn't really matter, honestly, what weapon you pick for the king. Um, so I'm going to go with a weapon that I haven't used here on the channel yet, and talk, which I think is secretly one of the best weapons in the game. And we're going to grab the spiky shield. This has medieval and blunt tags, so it gives you a lot of armor and also does damage based on armor, so you don't need to buy flat melee damage in order to boost it, you just need to buy normal damage abilities and additional armor. You could definitely also use, for example, just any ranged weapon. I would say start with the pistol because it's really easy to upgrade those to level two since they're very cheap in the shop. And what we want to do, of course, unlike most characters, is we want to level our weapons so that they don't uh, cost us damage and attack speed. Speaking of which, we're going to buy some attack speed. And I will buy this spiky shield. Something to keep in mind is that the cake here only costs me, you know, it get, basically gives me one maximum HP and also makes future cakes better. So it's Possibly worth taking that. I'm going to not lock it in here because I'm just looking for more weapons at this point. Bag, on the other hand, I will lock because it's just really, really good. We're going to keep on looking. And in fact, the only item I'll buy over a weapon here is fertilizer because if you get your harvesting going early, that's really powerful. And we get to lock a spiky shield. So pretty happy with that first shop. We have all these penalties, but that shouldn't matter for wave two. And of course, I've, I've got fertilizer, so my... Maximum HP has been reduced. You can see we have nine now. One thing I really like about Spiky Shield, and one reason I think it's secretly one of the best weapons in the game, is it gives you all these defensive stats on its own, and also it scales with itself because it gives you armor. So it basically increases its damage by itself. Here I'm going to actually just pick up a little more harvesting. If we can get our harvesting to a decent value early, that will help a lot. We'll grab Spiky Shield and roll again. Level 2 Spiky Shield, that's pretty nice to have available. So I'm actually going to just buy this bag, combine these two. I'll throw in one more roll because there's a chance we get a level 1 Spiky Shield to show up in the shop. We didn't, but we did get a Fertilizer, which has no penalty for us because our weapon scale off of armor. And also is really good uh, because we have a have one already, so we're not going to lose any maximum HP for taking that. 
let's go on to the next wave. Gonna need some attack speed. So one issue, of course, for this character is that you want to have fewer weapons because you don't want to be taking those giant penalties, which means that you're going to have a more trouble clearing crowds than many other characters would. Oh, I missed that tree. Oh, well. Over here, there's not really anything I want here. I'm going to roll. I guess I'll continue to just build harvesting up. And then, while I would love attack speed, our max HP is too bad for me to not take max HP right now, and we're actually going to be decreasing it further this wave, of course. So let's definitely grab the fertilizer, and I do need the third weapon, I think, so I don't think I can afford to buy Gentle Alien this wave. We'll grab the tree, and we'll lock in Gentle Alien. So Blunt is a really good weapon tag for this character as well, because it kind of mitigates our max HP loss just a little bit. And Medieval is nice because it gives you armor and dodge. Medieval, I think, is also just one of the best weapon synergies in the game. I think Primitive is the best. And then Medieval, then maybe Blade. Blunt definitely has downsides because it costs you speed, which is a real penalty. So we're going to need to find a decent way of increasing our speed soon. One other sort of secret downside to this character is you're a luck-based character, which normally means you would want to build consumable healing. But this character kind of struggles doing that because all the consumable healing boosts are level 1 items, so they'll reduce your maximum HP. Here I'm going to grab armor. We should always take armor because that increases our damage. And then I will grab this gentle alien, which is HP neutral, but gives us damage. I am going to be looking for things that boost our lifesteal or HP regeneration as well, because we don't currently have a way to heal. Beanie is probably worth taking for me, so I actually want a couple of these items. I'm going to take the Peaceful Bee. It has no downside, or I guess only the max HP loss is downside, and I think it's a really good item. Beanie would help mitigate our speed loss, but would cost me two more maximum HP. I think it's worth taking that, and then I will re-roll down to zero to look for, yep, more spiky shields. Perfect. Uh, the level three jousting lance, also kind of interesting, because, but we're already reducing our speed, so I don't think it's going to be possible for us to get the jousting lance to a really high damage value. I think we're just going to stick with spiky shields. Also, we'd have to then build melee damage if we wanted to make that work. So we can build any form of healing, lifesteal, health regeneration, whatever. We're going to have very high armor and hopefully decent dodge as well. So we won't need a ton of healing. But of course healing is good. Kill that tree right at the end. Nice. Haven't gotten any crates, which is a little unlucky given that we have um, a bag and also 50 luck already. Let me grab this 2% lifesteal. That'll give us a little bit more in the way of healing. And yeah, I'll get my harvesting up over 40, then it'll grow by two every round. Then we get to pick up these two spiky shields. We'll want to combine this one as soon as we can, because right now it's really hurting our uh, effectiveness. And even though our attack speed is pretty low already, I'll still buy the missile. It's a level two item, so it doesn't cost us any HP, and it's really nice for what we're trying to do. And then I'll lock in both of these. Great shop for us. Do I want to lock the Lemonade? So it would reduce my max HP to 17, which is definitely an issue, but it would also give me better consumable healing and we have 50 luck. I think I'm not going to lock it, although I would consider buying it if it just was in the shop when we had the money for it. I could also use a little bit more range. Spiky Shield is one of the items, I think, actually, that actually does want a little bit of extra range. Because um, its base range is pretty low, and 
it's got fast attack speed and attacks through all the enemies, of course, being a melee weapon, so adding a little range can help you deal a lot more damage. Also, we got our first crate there, which is nice. Oh, can I kill this tree? Yeah, I got it. Alright. Extra speed for minus luck. We don't currently have one of those. We took the beanie instead. So, even though we do want to increase our speed, I'm going to recycle this onion. It would cost us max HP, which we do need to start raising now. So, here I'm going to grab this 30 max HP. Great thing to find. And 3% lifesteal is really good as well. So, let's get that going. Here I get a metal. Really nice. Repairs our speed a little bit, and we can buy our last spiky shield. Hopefully we find a level 1 or something that we can sell this level 1 to purchase. Um, do I want the garden? I think at this price I will take garden. It's relatively cheap and gives us a source of healing on the ground. Even though we haven't built any consumable healing, just having a few more ways to heal never hurts. Because we're melee and our damage isn't great at this point, I'm going to try to kill the eggs mostly. Actually, maybe I don't need to. We killed that guy pretty easily. Like to kind of experiment when you're on wave 7, see whether you should be leaving the eggs alive or trying to take them out ahead of time, and that's just based on your damage. The reason is that the big guys drop more money. Um, if you let them hatch, but they also absorb a lot of attacks and, of course, can also just kill you if you get hit by them. Definitely not taking Boxing Glove. <laughs> Certainly did not need the penalty on that item to make it bad. Here I am going to probably grab some more uh, oh, I'll just grab armor. I didn't see the armor there at first, but of course we need armor for our spiky shields. Then, minus range is definitely painful. We're already down to 147 range, but I think this is just too good to pass up. Oh, no, wait, we don't use melee damage. What am I saying? All right, we're going to keep rolling. Uh, we'll take this armor, even though we do want to increase our speed. And roll again. And plus HP for minus dodge. Obviously, we'd like to increase our dodge, but getting our HP up is definitely a priority. Let's roll once more, and great, we get to upgrade our spiky shield. Lock in this spiky shield. And will I lock a medical turret? Probably not at this point. Actually, our healing's bad. I'm going to lock a medical turret. That will help keep us alive a little better. It's hard to overcome the reflex of, like, I'm using melee weapons, I'd better just buy melee damage, but we don't use melee damage. Positioning is difficult for me right now because my speed is so bad. Um, one thing you want to avoid against these chargers is getting up against the edge of the map, because they'll slide along the map edge, and that, that can actually increase their charge distance. You saw that with the guy who went up top there. Um, that can increase their charge distance and make them significantly more dangerous if they get to do their power slide along the edge of the wall. Tanking a little bit of damage there just to make sure I'm clearing out the ranged enemies because we've got these, the consumable healing on the ground anyways, and I want to get in on that tree. We don't need this, of course. Uh, adrenaline, great, especially when you receive it for free. We'll tr be building our dodge up more in a minute as well. And here I will... I'm going to roll this. We're high enough level and have enough luck we can get some level 2 abilities, although it's all stuff that's useless to us. I'll roll it once more, see if we get something a little more useful. And yeah, I'll take the level 4 max HP. That puts our max HP at a much more reasonable place. Here I'll buy the spiky shield, and we're actually going to go down to four weapons, something I don't recommend doing usually, but because the king gets huge bonuses from having a level four weapon, combining these gives us quite a lot of additional damage. Of course, we'll need to find more weapons, but that's okay. We don't have any HP regeneration, so the weird ghost is dangerous. It's also only one maximum HP, so I don't think it's worth the money. I will buy the tree, though. 
And Clover, definitely great, even though we are building some lifesteal. Clover is, is really nice. 20 luck is great for us, and 6 dodge is also great for us. Going down to 4 weapons on wave 9 is definitely a little iffy, I will say, because... Wave 9 is just about attacking as much as you can. So maybe that was an error. And we will have to find more spiky shields. So it's possible that you shouldn't do that, especially because we are relying on our weapon synergies for some of our damage as well. Um, if you had a weaker weapon synergy, like let's say you're going the ranged build, that might have been a better move. But I think in this case, actually, this was a mistake to combine the weapons. That said, we're still killing everything, so not too worried about it. Let me get this guy if we can. Oh, I knocked him away. I wanted to punch him down into the corner. Knockback, definitely a problem when you're trying to kill the loot aliens. But we can now tank quite a bit because our armor is really good. Uh, 2 max HP for minus 2 max HP, minus 3% attack speed. Not taking that. On the other hand, well, we'll keep lowering our range, but we need more damage and we need more armor. And we need more damage. Vigilante ring, of course, and auto buy if you see it early, and we are seeing it quite early. Clover, great. We're going to keep rolling. Metal plate, also really solid for our build, of course, because it's armor. And we'll take the bait as well. Those uh, units actually will be a little bit difficult for us to fight, but we should be okay overall. Having the level 1 spiky shield will give us the attack speed and stuff penalties, but it's not as large as the bonus we get for the level 4. Let me also get this metal detector and the spiky shield. We won't roll again. Let's go to wave 10. Let's also keep in mind there's an elite an elite coming up. Excuse me. Oh, these guys are surviving a little bit. There we go. Cleared out the bait aliens. Because our, our armor is really high, we can tank pretty easily most of what the enemies are doing. That will change a little bit on the elite waves, just because their base damage is so high that even having quite a lot of armor won't uh, won't prevent us from taking high damage from them. But if we fight the elite around our medical turret and maybe get a little more regeneration before the next wave, we should be in decent shape. I'm trying to pin this guy into a corner, but he's he's escaping every time. wading through all these enemies to get health pickups and make sure that I am collecting all the materials and we can do that relatively safely because they don't do much damage to us right now. Did actually put myself in a little bit of danger at the end there. Um, a bait alien on an elite wave, even though it's really nice, I think it's too dangerous for us to take. So I'm going to sadly pass on that one. We'll take the luck here. I will also take more. Actually, I'm going to take 30 range, even though I want the damage. Getting my range back up to kind of neutral, I think, is really important to do. Let's get this spiky shield. I could also sell the level 1 spiky shield if we don't find uh, something, some way to improve it. And here, blood donation we can't afford. Even though we're getting it quite early, it's unfortunately not going to work for us because we just don't have a way to heal that quickly and the blood donation damage is not reduced by our armor. Our 17 armor means we're taking half damage, basically. I'm going to keep rolling a little bit, try to find something a little better. Nice. Okay, so we got a level 2 spiky shield, so that removes our, our damage penalties. And we got the warrior helmet, which is really good, gives us some armor and HP. Our speed is really bad at this point, so definitely going to be on the lookout for something to fix that. And I'll take a medical turret as well. That can help keep us alive against this elite. Let's see which one it is. All right, it's the Batwing guy. This should be pretty dangerous for us because we are going to have to chase it, which means that we're going to kill it pretty slowly. But at least I'm able to fight it around my medical turret mostly and around the garden. Having all of these ways to heal that don't rely on attacking or anything is really nice. So this guy likes to sit just outside your range. Let me 
step over here, pick up a few things, and then we will edge back in and whack him a couple times. There we go. Got him. I have to wait for some of these projectiles to despawn so that I can go back out into the world. And then we can go pick up some consumables to heal back up for the rest of the wave. Definitely want to clear this tree. Also, making sure I'm picking up all that stuff is really good. And we're getting a level 4 item, which is going to give us maximum HP because of how the king works. Here, I'll take Cyberball. We already have quite high luck, so this works really well with our, syner our class synergies. And we're increasing our damage as well. And sure, I'll take this. It's maximum HP and means we don't have to run after materials on the ground. More armor, of course. And here, I'm going to roll this. I would take some crit chance, but... We can do better, I think, one armor or six max HP. I think I'll actually just take the one armor. Here we get to do a little more combining of spiky shields, and actually we get to get a second legendary shield, which gives us some additional attack speed and damage. We already should be one-shotting trees, basically, so I don't need to lose health to take the lumberjack shirt. Here I'm going to roll again. Um, even though we are trying to build up our dodge, getting our max HP a little higher, we have such high armor that max HP has huge value for us. Like each of these is multiplied by our armor value. So we're going to take that. And then here, eight HP regeneration, start waves with half HP. Hmm. We're not really building regeneration, but... We could build into regeneration. I think it's not worth it, although I will take this bat, even though it costs us harvesting and maximum HP. It increases our lifesteal a little bit, which is how we are mostly trying to heal. That and our medical turrets, of course. I like medical turret and garden and stuff just on characters that otherwise struggle with healing, like if you're going a melee build so you can't use lifesteal effectively and haven't found good HP regeneration. Also, HP regeneration is overall, I think, the weakest way of healing. Um, then garden and medical turrets and stuff can really just help add in the small amount of healing that you need to make up the difference. We're just trying to keep ourselves healthy by having consumables on the ground. So even without any consumable healing, although, of course, if we saw it, we would take it at this point. Um, and I'm actually kind of regretting not locking the lemonade when we saw that, but... the At the time, the max HP reduction would have been a pretty severe penalty, so who knows if we'd have been able to survive with that reduced HP. I'm going to recycle this, and wave 12, yeah... Even though we lose an armor, I'll still take a wheelbarrow. That's going to pay for itself pretty quickly. And we'll recycle this. We don't really need to take it at the expense of our HP. Here, I'm definitely grabbing the speed. That will help get our speed back to a normalized amount. And we are going to take this spiky shield. The question is, do I want to sell the level 1 spiky shield and just buy the level 2? I think the answer to that is actually yes. Even though it, it reduces our num total number of shields, it r removes that penalty, which is a pretty big deal. And we'll take this, and I will still take the snail. Uh, and here I can grab a level 2 spiky shield to upgrade that, and we can grab a gambling token. Again, even though we're losing armor for it, getting our dodge up is going to be huge, and we can rebuild our armor in a second. And I'll roll a little more. Community support is minus two armor, but is a lot of attack speed. I think that's still worth it. I'm going to roll pretty aggressively for armor in these next level up screens and next shops. Because I'm taking a bunch of stuff that's reducing my armor. Which, of course, is how we do damage. What I'd love, I think, most of all is a minus knockback item. <laughs> Anything that gives us a good bonus and reduces our knockback would actually help us kill these enemies much more easily, especially the little ranged enemies and stuff. Right now we're one-shotting them, though, so it's okay. 
will survive. The game treats knockback as an advantage, but like I talked about in my soldier guide, I think knockback is actually mostly a disadvantage, because you'd rather just kill enemies, and it makes it much harder for you to focus priority targets down, most notably loot aliens, but also stuff like these little ranged guys. Here, we're going to just grab armor. It's the lowest level one, but we have already decreased our armor quite a bit, and... Yeah, I'm going to keep decreasing my armor by just buying all of these. Roll again, and we will lock in this metal. Do I want a baby elephant? We already have Cyberball. I don't think so, but of course I'll take Mouse. Mouse is really solid. I should also check when the next um, Elite is. When you're a melee character fighting on Wave 14 and up, uh, these big guys with the, the slime coming out of their eyeballs, once you kill them, stand where they were because they spawn three of those little runny dudes who shoot, who are very aggressive, shoot lots of projectiles, and can make your life very difficult trying to dodge them. I think actually the cyberball is killing some of those guys, and that's spawning these little guys, causing me problems. Let's just wade on in here. We have super high armor, so even if we do take a hit, we'll be fine, and our attack speed is good enough at this point that we can just pop through these giant crowds and clear tons of enemies. And this is why I think the spiky shield is really good. It's really easy to build up armor, um, really easy to build up damage, and uh, you build up your damage stat while building up your defensive stat. Yeah, I'll take this. Crit chance for no penalty. That's great, and in fact, we can actually build our crit chance up a little bit. And let's go here, we'll take metal, that raises our armor a little, also gets our speed back into the positives for the first time in this game, I think, basically. Let's get mouse, and we'll take poisonous tonic as well. Really nice, now we have a pretty decent crit chance, 14%. Uh, blindfold will be good, we're trying to build our dodge, so I'll lock that in. And our range, we have actually managed to increase to the point where it's fine. Honestly, I don't think there's much more this build needs. Like, more damage, obviously, is always good. So we'll just take more armor, damage, and attack speed as it shows up. But uh, the king basically is about surviving the early game, and then it pays off in massive late game power. making sure to clear those trees, making sure to clear all the guys that we're spawning. But we basically heal up with our medical turrets and fruits from any damage we're taking. We also have decent lifesteal at this point. And the amount of damage we take is so minimal that it, even our relatively low healing for, at least for one of my builds, because I tend to like to build a lot of healing, is more than capable of keeping up. All right, let's recycle this scope. We will definitely take the Lucky Charm, though, and I'll take the Blood Leech as well. Here we are going to take attack speed. I think that's going to be the thing that helps us most. And yeah, I will suffer a minus 2% max HP penalty to increase my consumable healing. At this wave, we're not taking Wheelbarrow, though, but we'll take that. And level 1 Spiky Shield, I don't want... I don't think we want Chameleon either. Let's keep rolling. Plus luck. We don't have one of those already, but more luck is always good. I'm going to take that. Here I could take um, Glass Cannon. 25% damage for minus 3 armor I think actually isn't worth it for us, even though it's usually this is a pretty good item. Um, because this decreases our flat damage as well as our survivability and also our percent damage is already quite high, I think the glass cannon is going to hurt more than it helps. But I'll take those two and we'll keep on rolling. And we can upgrade a spiky shield here. Let's get... Do I want to... Yeah, I guess I'll just upgrade the spiky shield and lock the coupon. We don't currently have a coupon, so it will cost us two max HP, but I think that's okay. Still not going to lock this level 1 spiky shield. 
We could have built up those up into level twos by now, but I think avoiding the penalty for when we did was more important. And honestly, having two level four weapons is is plenty. At that point, your character is very, very hard to stop on the king. Oh, I just stomped two enemy spawns by standing on the red X's, which cost me some money. A little bit of sloppy play there. Something to know if you don't know is you can stand directly on the red X. The enemy under that that was going to spawn there isn't going to spawn. You can use this to stop like the egg aliens from hatching if you want. Uh, you can use it to like get into a, a corner or something where you would be pinned in. If you step on a spawning enemy, you can stop them from spawning. Usually you want to avoid doing it though because the more enemies that spawn, the more money you get. So should try not to stomp the enemy spawns, typically. Yeah, I'll continue to take dodge and crit chance for sure, and we'll take more armor and HP. That's great. Our speed is back in the negatives, though, but that's okay. We no longer at this point need to be buying max HP preferentially, so I'll grab dodge, even though that one armor was also very tempting. Coupon I'll take, and coffee, again, one of the best items in the game. Still really good, even if it gives you minus max HP. Let's keep rolling. I don't want the tardigrade here because it uh, we're taking damage anyways, but I'll take this spiky shield and we'll actually level up one of them to level four just because of the king's ability. And we will of course take whetstone, reduce knockback, increase lifesteal, what's not to love. And yeah, I'll keep taking more baits and we'll take the weird food as well here. A web, uh, an item I've actually come around on, or think I've been underrating, is the piggy bank. Um, I tend not to buy it just because I don't like doing the math, but I think it pays for itself really quickly, even if you don't prioritize holding money. If you get it a little earlier. On wave 17, I don't know that I'd pick it anyways, but I figured I should mention that because I think I have been telling people not to buy piggy bank and... It's probably really good. And you can just like not prioritize holding money, or you can try holding like a hundred and then it pays for itself relatively fast. Being just immune to damage is always a great feeling, so we're, we can just like wade into all these piles of enemies without having to worry about it at all. Our dodge is really good, our max HP is really good, and of course our armor is very, very high. Uh, I will... So, Ricochet is pretty interesting for this character because it would give us maximum HP. So if we desperately needed that, but we don't, and minus 25% damage is a huge penalty. So uh, definitely an unlucky find on the legendary box. I will continue to lose a little range for some damage and at this point I will lose max HP to take the baby elephant. I think that's going to be fine. We'll take a little bit more damage here. Grab this as well. We already had one so it doesn't decrease our HP. Keep on rolling. Definitely don't need the frog here um, but this is a really good shop. Metal obviously great. Gonna do a bunch of work for us. We don't there's no penalties to the schmoop for us, and yeah, more gardens. We've also now built into quite a bit of consumable healing. We have plus four, so they're worth seven each. So garden has a lot of value, and I'm going to roll. I don't think I have a cake yet. Do I have a butterfly? I do. So uh, I'm going to grab that, and I'm also going to lock the duct tape, even though it's going to cost us four max HP. At this point, just more armor is really nice. Another reason that this weapon, I think, is so good is it just has a really solid attack pattern. Like, you, you can see it. It strikes in a very wide arc. Much wider, actually, than the weapon looks like it should hit. So you just end up being able to hit a lot of stuff much more easily with the spiky shield than you would otherwise. Definitely letting the egg alien spawn at this point for some extra cash.
And while my range is pretty low, we're not too worried about range at this point, just because my armor's so high that I'm, I can tank that. Here, do I want to lose 2 HP and 6 luck for 4 speed? I think I actually do, because our speed is one of the areas of weakness of this character right now. Uh, not taking a turret for minus max HP, it doesn't do anything, and we'll take 6% dodge here, try to get that higher. Here, we're going to grab this duct tape. We don't currently have any melee damage, so Repost doesn't do anything for us. Let's keep rolling. Let's... Uh, do I want to buy this Cyberball? I guess I am kind of building into this. So... Yeah, I'll do that and I'll roll again and we get our another level 4 spiky shield, which is awesome. And then... I could lose an armor for 10 crit chance. I think that's probably worth it at this point. Increasing our crit chance is going to increase our overall damage by quite a lot. Yeah, the cyberball is now doing quite a bit of work. You can see the cyberball and the baby elephant. Especially because we have the item that pulls in materials to us. So that's triggering the baby elephant. fun to be able to kill stuff across the map, even on this melee character. Ooh, loot alien. Got him. There's a tree down here. I'm like barely looking at the screen at this point, because we're just so invincible. Alright. Attack speed and range for minus armor. Still not worth it for this character, because we'd lose armor. Here, I'm going to roll. We're looking for armor, or... Uh, yeah, I would take attack speed, but I want armor most of all. I'll take 7% crit chance, though. I'll take this helmet. Our speed is positive, and we'll take these sunglasses and roll. I'd like to get something really cool for the final wave. Looks like we're getting another spiky shield. Keep on rolling. We don't use the sniper gun at all. Minus dodge for max HP we don't need. I will... Yeah, I'll take another mouse. Uh, we actually have... What's our enemy spawn? Yeah, plus 25% enemies. That's pretty fun. And here we go. A leather vest. Even better on this build than it is on any other build. And we'll take some bait for the boss wave. Because I don't think that will matter particularly. Let's keep going. And we'll just go bop these bosses real quick. All the bait aliens died without me actually, like, seeing them spawn. <laughs> and there we go! So, I hope you enjoyed this guide to the king. Um, really, this was a guide to the spiky shield, but the king was a good vehicle for that guide, I think. And... As always, my friend, if you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a comment and that will help it reach more people who can in turn enjoy the video and subscribe to my channel for more of this and other strategy game content. Cheers, folks. GG.